affidavit of truth and claim of harm and trespass to be heard in the 102nd General Assembly of the State of Michigan. I, Lindsay Ann Dunesk, a living woman who walks upon the land, does hereby affirm and declare, under penalty of perjury, that the following statements are true and correct to the best of my knowledge and belief. 1. My children and I are victims of egregious deprivation of rights under color of law in this matter and have personal knowledge and a large body of compelling evidence of the events described herein. 2. I assert that the numerous executive and public health orders issued in 2020, beginning with EO 2024 and executed by the Michigan Governor, Gretchen Whitmer, DHHS, Chief Judge of Wayne County, Timothy Kenney and others, have resulted in an undue, egregious conspiracy against rights and deprivations of our inalienable rights under color of law and caused undue catastrophic harm to myself and my children. These orders, which were enforced by various agents of the state, including but not limited to Dana Nessel, all Michigan courts, and most local, county, and state law enforcement agencies, have been found to be unlawful by the Michigan Supreme Court and in violation of both the Michigan and United States constitutions. Three, as a direct consequence of these unlawful and unconstitutional orders and unlawful shutdown, I have been denied access to the court system to seek lawful recourse against the widespread and flagrant corruption plaguing every branch of our government, with some of the most egregious of corruption occurring in the family court system. These unlawful conspiratorial actions of the aforementioned agents and agencies and deprivations of rights under color of law have obstructed my inalienable rights as a citizen of Michigan and the United States of America. To due process and equal treatment under the law to seek justice and protect my interests and my children of whom, as a result, have been subjected to unconscionable abuses including, but not limited to, retaliatory, malicious prosecution and the kidnapping and trafficking of my children for profit by the state of South Carolina, of which the state of Michigan has a solemn sworn duty to protect our citizens from. Pursuant to Article I, Section 2 of the Michigan Constitution and of which they not only completely abdicated but rather unlawfully conspired with the state of South Carolina and then did participate in the crimes against myself and my children of which greatly furthered the undue and irreparable harm to myself and my children. 4. Even after the courts reopened to the public, I was still discriminated against and denied equal access to public services of the court system due to the unlawful orders issued by the governor, DHHS, and chief judge of Wayne County, Timothy Kenney. This discrimination was based on my inability to wear a mask due to a medical disability, despite having an exemption. As a result, I have further been denied justice, compounding the undue and irreparable harm caused by the unlawful orders. 5. The undue and irreparable harm inflicted upon my children and I as a result of these actions has been both horrendous and irreparable. Some of the irreparable harm these unlawful actions have caused include but are not limited to financial devastation, destroyed vital familial relationships and lifelong friendships caused me to become homeless, my vehicle to be stolen via larceny by conversion, worst of all the state of Michigan aided, abetted and facilitated the abuse and trafficking of my children across state lines for profit, one of which has been unlawfully withheld from me for over five years and even more concerning was she was unlawfully issued a passport without my knowledge or consent and very well could have been removed from the United States altogether. This has severely negatively impacted every area of our lives, causing catastrophic and devastating emotional, mental, and physical distress, utter financial ruin. In addition to besmirching my good name and character, making it nearly impossible to get a decent job, and to this day, continues to cause undue and irreparable harm to myself and my children. 6. I exhaustively sought recourse in every area of government from local to federal levels as well as in every branch of government to no avail. Instead of receiving justice when I attempted to lawfully assert my legal right to recourse and right to redress the corruption of which I had experienced, I was met with gross incompetence, deliberate indifference, willful neglect, and repeated failures to properly investigate along with many other egregious failures of duty. What's worse? is that in addition to the above, my children and I have faced relentless and merciless retaliation in various forms, including but not limited to malicious prosecution, defamation, stalking, harassment, false charges, vexatious litigation, intentional infliction of mental and emotional harm, brutal physical attacks, several unlawful arrests, trafficking of my children for profit, repeated unlawful surveillance and tracking of my person, including, but not limited to unlawful phone tracking absent of a warrant, culminating with the 
brutal attack of me and subsequent kidnapping of my three and four year old children by the FBI in May 2023 while my babies watched in horror as they were unlawfully ripped from me while they cried and pleaded, please don't hurt my mommy. To this day, my children are currently being unlawfully withheld from me and I am being made to pay ransom to even be allowed to see my children. When I have not broken a single law or been found guilty of any crime and of which is an unacceptable and abhorrent violation of my parental rights of which have been solidified in many United States Supreme Court rulings, including Troxel v. Granville, which states, The interest of parents in the care, custody, and control of their children is perhaps the oldest of the fundamental liberty interests recognized by this court. 7. In addition to the clear deprivation of rights, these actions are tantamount to torture and cruel and unusual punishment and a clear violation of my inalienable rights pursuant to the Eighth Amendment all for simply asserting my rights and acting in the best interest of my children, as is my God-given right, and of which has been a right repeatedly upheld by both the Supreme Court of Michigan and the United States. 8. The offenses outlined herein of which my children and I were subjected to are only the tip of the iceberg of the egregious deprivations of rights, retaliation, and malicious prosecution that have occurred and are continuing as a result of the unlawful orders as well as the corruption that preceded the pandemic and the subsequent cover-up of the unlawful acts committed by agents of the state under color of law. Throughout this ordeal that began over five years ago, nearly every single one of mine and my children's inalienable rights have been unduly violated, and when I sought help from my government and its agents, of which was put in place for the specific purpose of protecting the inalienable rights of its citizens, rather than uphold their oaths and help stop the appalling violations and deprivations they furthered them all of which are outlined in great detail in several of the accompanying exhibits submitted with this petition. Consequently, for over five years, my children and I have been deprived of the protections of which are guaranteed under both the Michigan and United States constitutions, resulting in unconscionable abuses and violations that have left our lives in shambles. 9. The above detailed unlawful actions very clearly demonstrate countless abuses of power by elected officials and other governmental agencies and their agents across multiple states and the federal government that were made possible by using obscure policy and procedural codes in a nefarious and insidious way to unlawfully elevate these codes to a level of authority that has usurped the supreme law of the land and therefore has come into a direct conflict with the constitutions of both Michigan and the United States and has caused a complete and unacceptable erosion of the inalienable rights guaranteed to we, the people, and consequently has caused unending grave miscarriages of justice that have resulted in unconscionable and irreparable harm to myself, my children, and countless others of which I have heard firsthand testimonies of from fellow citizens throughout the state of Michigan. The practice of using policy and procedures to thwart the spirit and interests of justice has been determined by the United States Supreme Court in multiple landmark cases to be an offense to the Constitution and therefore a violation of the rights of the people, one of which is Marbury v. Madison, which states, A law repugnant to the Constitution is void and, as Chief Justice Marshall observed, the very essence of civil liberty certainly consists in the right of every individual to claim the protection of the laws whenever he receives an injury. One of the first duties of government is to afford that protection. 10. Therefore, I hereby submit this affidavit to bring to light the truth regarding the undue and egregious conspiracy against rights, deprivation of rights, and countless other violations of rights under color of law that my children and I have suffered as a result of the unlawful executive and public health orders issued in 2020 and how the abuse of power and intentional misapplication of policy and procedural codes has and continues to erode the inalienable rights of its citizens. 11. These unlawful actions and abuses of power have effectively put a government specifically instituted to serve and protect its people and of which is intended to be, of the people, by the people and for the people at odds with the will and best interests of we, the people. Wherefore, I hereby assert that I do not consent to a government at odds with its people, and of which is ruling contrary to their best interests, and resulting in undue oppression and harm to the people. Consequently, I vehemently assert my right to seek justice, not only on behalf of myself and my children, but also for my fellow citizens who have also experienced similar deprivations of rights. And I further assert our right to demand a full, thorough, and completely transparent investigation into these unlawful occurrences as well as immediate action to rectify these injustices and whereby provide relief, remedy, 
restitution, and any other actions needed to ensure the protection of we the people and our inalienable God-given rights, and to ensure the interests of justice. I declare under penalty of perjury under the laws of the state of Michigan that the foregoing is true and correct. Executed on this 10th day of October, 2023. Lindsay Ann Dunasky, Lindsay Ann Dunasky.